I think it was pretty clear Sergeant Kang was a decorated uh, American soldier for 10 years and was deployed to Afghanistan in 2011, uh, came back from Afghanistan and by all accounts people he served with, other people in the army, things started to go, and his family, things started to go off the rails at that point. Nothing was done. Uh, I think at that point there should have been somebody to step in. The government should have, you know, offered a hand to pull him back. But instead, it looks like they just pushed him and pushed him and pushed him. And, um, you know, it looks to me that uh, they've exploited uh, his mental illness and uh, just thrown, again, gasoline on the fire of his mental illness and to get him to commit a crime that they could arrest him for. And it's kind of contradictory to say that, oh, I think he's safe to be released into the community, but we need to have a mental health, you know, we have some mental health concerns. So, you know, I said, you're going to stay in for now. We're going to get you evaluated and see what's going on. The response I got was he was counseled. That's it. And that's what it says in the complaint. So I don't know what counseled means, but it certainly was not uh, sufficient. I spoke to the government at 8 o'clock this morning and told them that I was not contesting detention. I've never seen the government file a memorandum in support of a motion to detain like they did this morning, particularly an hour and a half after I told them that I'm not contesting detention. So I can only assume that those, that memorandum and those photos were for you guys.